Good evening, this is news.ph, but it's not politics as usual. I'm Pia Ontiveros. Tonight, we are privileged to have on the show Secretary Panfilo Ping Lakson, the Presidential Assistant for Rehabilitation and Recovery. Good evening, Secretary Lakson. Thank Good you for evening, hosting Tia. us here in your office. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for being here. Sir, can you tell us how you went about putting together the uh, rehabilitation plan for areas that were hit by Super Typhoon Yolanda? Yes, it's a long process, and we made uh, some innovations. No? First, I cleared with the President if we could do a bottom-up approach, meaning could we involve the local government units in the preparation of the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. But first, we, we had to capacitate the LGUs because mm -hmm. not of, all of them are technically capable in the, uh, to prepare a, an LGU rehabilitation recovery plan. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. With the help of uh, a bilateral agency, the USAID, because we received or we were, grant, we were given a grant of $10 million. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason why you saw when you, when you entered that we, I have, uh, that's more than 100 staff, but mm -hmm. uh, uh, only 12 of them are under government payroll. Mm -hmm. All of them okay. or most of them are under the payroll of the USAID. Anyway, uh, I, I cleared with the president uh, to do a bottom-up approach so we could fast track the preparation and implementation of the uh, rehabilitation efforts. Mm -hmm. So that's what we did. And uh, last uh, July 1st, no, 1st, mm -hmm. July 1, we submitted to the president. Uh, oh, wait, six, July 1, August? No, July 1. July 1. We submitted to the president six uh, local government units rehabilitation and recovery plans. We call it LRRPs. Mm -hmm. And he, and on uh, July 18, no, th that was four, and on July 18, we submitted two more. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Leyte, Tacloban City, Cebu, Samar, uh, and Iloilo. Mm -hmm. no. He approved the six LRRPs last July 25. Mm -hmm. He announced it in the SONA. Yes. It had, or it has a funding requirement of 96.9 billion pesos. Mm -hmm. And eventually, uh, last August 1, I submitted to him the Comprehensive Rehabilitation and Recovery Plan. And the LRRPs uh, have been incorporated uh, in, mm -hmm. in, the, uh, yeah. in the overall plan. Okay. And that uh, requires uh, uh, funding uh, support of uh, 170.9 billion pesos. So mm -hmm. in effect, uh, since there's a previously approved 96.9, uh, we're only asking for uh, a few more billion or tens of billions of pesos. Mm -hmm. where, where is all the money going to come from? From DBM, uh, okay. from DGAA, General mm -hmm. Appropriations uh, Act. Mm -hmm. uh, right now, as of today, DBM has already front-loaded to the different NGAs, national government agencies, 39 billion, 136 million pesos. Uh, in addition to, and recently, uh, DBM released another 11 billion pesos. Mm -hmm. So that's more than 50 billion already released. Mm -hmm. They're already, the, the, the funds are already uh, in the, with the national government agencies. Mm -hmm. And that's, a, and uh, even without an approved comprehensive plan, we proceeded with the implementation. Yeah. We, we call it phased implementation of projects. Phased implementation. <coughs> yeah. okay. We identified some no regrets and low regrets projects. Mm -hmm. These are projects uh, that we have to do anyway, we have to undertake anyway. So uh, why wait for the approval of the <coughs> comprehensive plan? Mm -hmm. We can, we could start implementing. Yeah. These are municipal halls, public markets, civic centers, uh, even hospitals, mm -hmm. uh, and so forth and so on. Livelihood, mm -hmm. mostly livelihood and social uh, yeah. services projects. So can we go back to that, um, the USAID, <coughs> no, and how they capacitated, helped the yes. LGUs. So the LGUs were given a template 
uh, they had USAID staffers working with them, or this is what you do? Is, is that how it happened? We feel that technical consultants mm -hmm. to assist them or capacitate them in the yeah. or to be able to prepare uh, mm -hmm. rehabilitation plans uh, mm -hmm. on the local level. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the LGU submitted to you, and then you put it all together? You, you also we went through them, you vetted? Yeah, we vetted the, the submissions, the projects yeah. are submitted, mm -hmm. and uh, all the NGAs, all the line agencies uh, were involved in the vetting process. Uh -huh. And there was no problem? There Everything were problems, there were issues, like? uh, because they were, you know, uh, they were not in sync, mm -hmm. uh, meaning local government units would submit projects that uh, uh, from the uh, from the uh, point of view of uh, the say an, an NGA uh, mm -hmm. shouldn't be included like beautification or even a wellness uh, a wellness project mm -hmm. so what has it got to do with uh, rehabilitation mm -hmm. meaning they're re rehabilitating what their Mm -hmm. Their wellness, their mm -hmm. their their own not not just not the beautification of the locality, but their own beautification program. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. there were uh, projects and activities submitted that mm -hmm. uh, when vetted did not pass the scrutiny of the NGAs or the clusters because uh -huh. we formed uh, we did a cluster framework approach. You know? We formed five clusters: livelihood, social services, infrastructure, mm -hmm. uh, life. Uh, uh, social services and support. Mm -hmm. Support the cluster uh, is co-chaired by NEDA and DBM. Mm -hmm. They will address the uh, cross-cutting issues, policy issues like funding, uh, issues like uh, suitable sites for settlement, mm -hmm. uh, identifying or doing geohazard uh, mapping of mm -hmm. uh, sites for, for settlement of the housing units. We're talking here of 205,128 housing units that need to be resettled to save areas. It's a very broad uh, very spectrum broad. of things that you're doing because you're, you're like, well, you, you are, your, your job is to serve as overall manager and coordinator. Yes. So everything that has to do with any rehabilitation of any area affected by Yolanda went through you. Yes, minus the implementation. Mm -hmm. I have no implementation authority. I have no budget. Mm -hmm. no. The, yeah. the people, we're, we're here. This is, uh, I, I got this pro bono. No. Uh -huh. including the utilities, you, so you don't have to worry about uh, electricity <laughs> the, the here. The lights you're using right yes, now. Yes, yes. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, but there, are, uh, that's why I asked if everything goes through you. Are there government agencies or officials that act on their own and don't go through you? Wala namang ganoon. Meron din, but uh, we, we try to play catch up. Ano? Pagka mm -hmm. we try to capture, because we're putting up empathy. Empathy is electronic management platform. Mm -hmm. uh, accountability and transparency for Yolanda. <clears throat> this mm -hmm. will be a legacy project that we intend to leave behind when uh, OPAR, my office, uh, is disbanded. Mm -hmm. So this can be used by, say, NEDA in monitoring all projects, programs, and activities of the national government mm -hmm. because it's all there. Yeah, okay. Uh, the, the intention okay. is to uh, to uh, enhance accountability and, yeah. and transparency. When is your office going to be disbanded? Well, it's co-terminus because uh, mm -hmm. the moment President Aquino steps down, so that's June 30, 2016. Yeah, but or, won't the rehabilitation work go on even beyond that date? Oh, yes, definitely. But OPAR, since it's a creation of the present administration, mm -hmm. it will now depend on the next administration to continue. To continue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is most challenging about this job that you're doing? Well, the most, is, chal yeah. the most challenging uh, part is the limitation, the restrictions, no? mm -hmm. because uh, I'm not used to being a coordinator. Uh -huh. I'm more used or at home with uh, implementation. Mm -hmm. I want to implement projects. I want to... Let, let's uh, compare it with Banda Aceh, because mm -hmm. this is the role model of any calamity that uh, that uh, hit uh, or that uh, that hit as of today, no? uh, any uh, any country in the world, mm -hmm. Banda Aceh was headed by Pak Contoro, Doctor Manco Subroto Contoro, mm -hmm. and uh, it took him five months to negotiate for his powers, which were which were all given to him by President Judhono. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the one implementing. 
he was uh, disbursing uh, funds mm -hmm. because he controlled the budget. Uh, practically, he was uh, he had near absolute authority mm -hmm. when he rehabilitated Banda Aceh. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those. Yeah. Why did you ask for that? Uh, this is a humanitarian mission. Mm -hmm. If I if it was a war mission that was offered to me, mm -hmm. I would definitely ask for you know how much uh, ammunition I, I'd have mm -hmm. and then how much. Uh, firepower, how mm -hmm. much uh, personnel, mm -hmm. but since uh, it's, it was a humanitarian mission offered to me, those questions or those demands became irrelevant as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. But rehabilitation after a super typhoon is like going to war. It's That's like one it. big battle also. Yeah, but the, the main difference is that, you know, when you see images of devastation and suffering of people, you know, if mm -hmm. you decline an offer like this, you know, it uh, mm -hmm. So it was clear to you from the start when the president offered you the job that, okay, as presidential assistant, you know, you won't have any real powers, you'll just be coordinating. No, I didn't have uh, any idea at all because mm -hmm. the memorandum order uh, was given to me afterwards. Mm -hmm. Because I, I didn't have the, you know, I didn't have the, I, I never thought of asking for yeah. what power. Parang wala, parang wala kayong gana to even ask na bigyan nyo naman ako ng ganito, ganyan, wala, wala nang ganito. Yeah, I knew that the Except, task would be daunting, you know, mm -hmm. would be very challenging. So I just assumed, and uh, it's my fault probably, I just assumed mm -hmm. that I would be given sufficient uh, powers. Yeah, because then the question uh, the, the, at the end of all of this is, okay, you coordinated very well, you put up a really good plan, you presented mm -hmm. it to the president, but the implementation would be left to other people. To Who's the, going to oversee that implementation? Is it going to be one person or it's going to be a... It's part of my mandate yeah. no, to oversee. Oh. But that's yeah. just about it. You know, mag, mag oversee, but uh, I couldn't do anything about it. If mm -hmm. I see some shenanigans in the yeah. implementation of the projects, if I would see some corruption uh, attending oh. the, uh, the implementation, that's all there is to yeah. it. Okay. I you, you, will just have to report to you. Mm -hmm. or to the president, or to media, to the public. Mm -hmm. yeah. Secretary Lakson, the you submitted the uh, comprehensive plan, the CRP, August 1st. Yes. Has it been finally approved by the president? It has not been approved. No. But, it's uh, Wednesday today. No yeah, a few days November before the November 8th is already next Saturday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's part of my frustration, you know, because mm -hmm. we labored so much. You know, we spent sleepless nights because uh, that's an eight thousand page, eight volume document that we uh, prepared. Mm -hmm. And I was assuming that uh, maybe two weeks or a month uh, after we submitted it, it would be approved. Mm -hmm. But, you know, uh, at the end of the day, we're only asking for a little under 10 billion pesos because, as I said, funds were already released mm -hmm. and the president uh, has already approved uh, big, uh, the big bulk of the projects mm -hmm. uh, yeah. included or incorporated. Uh -oh. In but but knowing him, of course, he would insist, no, I, I need to read all those 8,000 pages. How long will it take uh, any ordinary human being to read 8,000 pages? It depends. It depends. You, know. you mm -hmm. can read it if you want. You can finish it uh, overnight. You overnight? Can. Well, if you are, you know, if you are patient enough uh -huh. and if you can absorb everything. We tried the also, uh, I tried one of, uh, with one of my staff, you know, mm -hmm. and she was able to finish it uh, in one night. In one night. Okay. Well, probably because she was also involved in the uh, preparation and she was quite familiar mm -hmm. with the contents. So it did not take uh, mm -hmm. too much effort uh, to, to read everything in one night. Mm -hmm. uh, Secretary, uh, there was so much, or perhaps maybe not enough focus on mm -hmm. the casualty count. I, I wonder if you remember that at that yes. time, because at that time, the president in an inter interview with CNN International had said about 2,500 deaths, uh, mm -hmm. perhaps. But now, at this point, what we're looking at, what we've heard, the latest official figure is 6,000 plus. 6,300. Do do but do we actually know how many people really died? Because there, there are so many other reports of other missing persons who are 1, not 1,800 plus still Just missing eight. unaccounted for, yeah. Uh -huh. So you think that is the correct number? A little well, under 8,000 people? Well, we can only people. depend on the official figures mm -hmm. uh, uh, reported by OCD, the Office of Civil Defense. Mm -hmm. You believe those official figures? Well, I have to believe the official figures because there's no other uh, agency or any other source mm -hmm. of the figures except uh, the official figures that I should uh, believe in.
Uh -huh, okay. I, I know your work, sir, is rehabilitation and recovery, but how would you describe uh, the response of the national government during the crisis? When you well, too story? much criticism, you know, but mm. uh, again... Too much criticism of the national government response? Yes, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I would say that it's, it's not really that accurate. Uh, it's not really fair to judge the response and whatever development, whatever efforts are, you know, are being poured into the corridor mm -hmm. uh, uh, on, on Tacloban. Because we're, we're too focused on Tacloban. But remember, mm -hmm. there are 170 other cities and municipalities. No? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, the DSWD, along with the different clusters of the United Nations, declared the transition or the shift <coughs> from relief and humanitarian phase uh, into rehabilitation and recovery phase. This happened last July 4, mm -hmm. uh, or uh, what, seven, eight months after Yolanda struck uh, mm -hmm. Central Philippines. Uh, it's a record of sort, you know? it's record setting, because according to the United Nations, the standard period or the normal uh, period to ship to rehabilitation and recovery is one year. Mm -hmm. So, but we did it, or to the credit of the social services cluster, uh, we did it in uh, eight in, months. In so much yeah. less. But and you, but a month later or mm -hmm. thereafter, we submitted the rehabilitation plan. It has also not happened elsewhere. Elsewhere, okay. But, but you, uh, Secretary Lakson, are uh, satisfied with the way the national government responded when Hayan struck? I, I was not privy uh, with no, just uh, watching it unfold on, on your television screen, for example. Well, I would say that the national government responded uh, well, you know, mm -hmm. along with uh, the other multilateral and bilateral uh, agencies, mm -hmm. along with foreign governments. You know. yeah. Everybody came. The, world, the whole world came practically. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, much to thank for, you know, because uh, uh, local NGOs, international NGOs, they were mm -hmm. all there. Yes. Because this is a you know, a record-breaking typhoon. Okay. It is the strongest typhoon that uh, hit landfall uh, in recorded history. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Secretary Lakson, was another position promised to you before this uh, uh, job that you now hold? But I'll ask you to answer that question when we come back, so we just mm -hmm. need to take a break. News Up page will be right back. Welcome back. This is News.ph. I'm Pia Ontivera. Still with us, Secretary Ping Lakson. Secretary Lakson, was another position promised to you or offered? Nothing was formally offered, but uh, informally, informally offered. yes. What yes. position was that? Uh, Anti-corruption, anti-crime czar. Anti-crime czar. <laughs> In one, anti-corruption and anti-crime yeah, anti czar. Yeah. Okay, separate and distinct from uh, the Secretary of the Interior and Local Government. Yes, yes. Why, why was that uh, position offered uh, to you? Well, yun ang napag-usapan before, ano? before mm -hmm. Yolanda came or Yolanda mm -hmm. struck. Uh, we had some informal uh, discussion with, with the president mm -hmm. uh, regarding such offer. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, as things turned out, it did not materialize. So, mm -hmm. here okay. I am. Okay, yeah. But, uh, so, b because of Yolanda, then this job was offered. But uh, anti-corruption, anti-crime, yeah. that is still... I would have been more, you know, at home, at ease. Yeah. Uh, doing anti-crime, anti-corruption uh, uh, tasks. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a lot of rumors, many rumors that you were uh, slated for another cabinet post uh, beyond this, uh, besides this, this job. No, we have, no. what, uh, less than two years? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's pointless, you know, if a, another job will be offered. Yeah, yeah I don't but there was an practical. informal talk about it with you? No. Not even? Not, not even, yeah. Mm. Okay. So maybe it's just people projecting. <laughs> projecting kung saan kayo pupunta. Well, maybe. Oh. Uh -huh. um, Secretary, before the, Binay invest the investigation on uh, Vice President Binay began, uh, the focus was on PDAF and DAP, your mm. favorite uh, yeah. topic. Do you want closure on that? I want closure on that. You know. I, I've been uh, uh, advocating against it since 2001, since my first term. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I even delivered a scathing privilege speech on uh, or against pork barrel. Yes, everybody well, remembers how on hindsight, you know, nobody no one listened. stood up beside yeah. you. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, I want closure. 
right. I want people, well, some senators and congressmen have been charged. Mm -hmm. They're facing trial now. Yeah. But and that's enough? Is that closure already? No, not, that's not the that's closure. That's just the that, tip uh, of... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We should really go uh, more deeply into uh, th this scheme of things. You know? mm -hmm. uh, whatever happened to, the, to all the billions of pesos wasted. You know? mm -hmm. uh, okay. those, those are you know, taxpayer, taxpayer money. You know? mm. After 12, 13, 14 years uh, as an... Uh, um, an anti-pork barrel, anti-corruption advocate. Do you already have the answer to the question, how do we get rid of corruption? Do you already know the answer to that? Well, it's political will more than anything else. Mm -hmm. It's uh, uh, a standard response to uh, acts of corruption, you know, uh, indiscriminate, uh, mm -hmm. arbitrary, uh, hindi, hindi selective. Mm -hmm. That's the only way. Uh, but I remember when I was GPNP, the primary, uh, uh, on top of all of all uh, the the efforts against corruption, against uh, you know undisciplined policemen, would be leadership by example. Mm -hmm. Okay, leadership by example. So we're talking it's, about it's second to none. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's talk about the PNP. You had suggested that PNP chief uh, Alan Prisima go on leave and or resign or step aside, but. He didn't do such a thing. Why do you think he did not need to do that? No, I didn't ask him to resign. I asked mm -hmm. him to explain to the public mm -hmm. uh, because there are issues hounding him and he owes it to the president. You know? First, either he explains to the president or to the public. Mm -hmm. And uh, even up to now, as we speak, we have not heard any sufficient explanation uh, coming from General Purisima. He appeared at the Senate and he held a press conference in Krame. He opened his house in Nueva Ecija to the media. That's not yet a sufficient explanation. That's not enough because there are so many issues uh, uh, hounding him right now. Mm -hmm. But you didn't think that he needed to step aside or resign or, or go it, on leave? It as really champion. depends. You know? mm -hmm. If he cannot explain properly, then and if the morale of uh, the PNP personnel mm -hmm. uh, is already being affected, then he should uh, take a leave of absence. You know? mm -hmm. Leave of absence. But um, with the president backing him up, we, does he need to take a leave of absence? Well, he's the commander-in-chief. He's mm -hmm. the appointing authority. And if the president is backing him up and the president uh, sees no reason for him to, to step aside or uh, resign, then that's, that's uh, his prerogative. Mm -hmm. How important is it, sir, that the chief PNP has direct access to the president? Very important. Uh, Meaning he can used, bypass the DILG secretary? If used properly, then he mm -hmm. could be or he can be a very effective uh, chief PNP. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that would also mean bypassing in a way the DILG secretary. Can you the, explain to us your chain, chain of command? Yeah, the PNP is not under <coughs> the Secretary of Interior and Local Government. Mm -hmm. He is uh, under uh, the administrative control of the NAPOLCOM. Okay. And in, in his capacity as the ex officio chair of NAPOLCOM, uh, then the Secretary of Interior and Local Government becomes, you know, being the chairman, uh, has some degree of control over the PNP. But mm -hmm. uh, NAPOLCOM is all about policies, mm -hmm. regulations. Mm -hmm. uh, it has no operational, uh, operational. authority over okay. the PNP. Yeah, but, you know, everybody thought that the PNP is a bureau of the DILG and therefore is under the control of the DILG Secretary. Not, not really. If you, mm -hmm. if you look at uh, the, the Constitution, you know, the PN, it is the NAPOLCOM that has control over the PNP, not the DILG. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <coughs> what does it take to be appointed as Chief PNP? Well, it takes, you know, closeness to the President, trust of the President, and probably, you know, and of course, competence and you know, qualification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But very important, closeness and trust. Because if the president doesn't trust you... Trust is very you, important, yeah. You cannot can can be appointed. Ka, hindi ka no. pwede i-appoint. Or kung ma-appoint ka man, isang buwan lang, tanggal ka na. Uh -huh. And then, you know, iba yung ma-appoint. Okay. Is there any real solution, sir, in the horizon to, to our crime problem? Meron ba? Well, alam mo, historically, yeah. <laughs> ito naman talaga yung nasa libro eh. No? Crime prevention and crime suppression. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, kasama rito sa pagsinabi natin yung overall mission is to maintain peace and order. Marami mga elements na nakapaktorin dyan. Like, you know, if undisciplined yung mga police, 
nangungutong sa daan, how can you accomplish your mission? Or mm -hmm. how can you deliver the services expected uh, by, by the public? Mm -hmm. So, marami mga uh, overriding mga activities ano, mm -hmm. uh, para ma-accomplish yung mission. Okay, so cleansing the PNP is a big chunk yeah. of this. If they get that out of the way, then it might be easier. It will be easier for them to prevent crime. Yes, kasi kung, uh, kung efficient yung mga police and then, yun nga, hindi involved sa corruption, mm -hmm. then they can efficiently deliver the services expected of them. Mm -hmm. uh, like, kung hindi bumababa yung pondo, no? Ang, kasi I, ano, I was so frustrated when I heard General Purisima uh, say during the Senate hearing, he stated that uh, their, hamstrung, their efforts uh, are hamstrung by uh, lack of funds. Mm -hmm. That's why hindi raw bumababa yung pondo kasi kulang. I don't mm -hmm. believe that and mm -hmm. I, I won't buy that. Because, you bumaba know... Bumababa na ang pondo dati, hindi po Dapat ibaba yung pondo because there's enough funds naman eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi naman totoong kulang yung pondo. Hindi lang bumababa. You know, when... Mm -hmm. Bumababa again, meaning sa mga... Download. Presinto, sa mga download. Sa presinto, you know. uh, police station. Yeah. City I remember when I was chief NP, I started the 8515 uh, distribution scheme because... When yung I took 85 over, hindi nasa krame. <laughs> ang 85 nasa baba, baba. nasa frontline units. Mm -hmm. Because when I got appointed and I started accounting for the funds, ang, ang nangyayari, uh, at least 40. Mm -hmm. yung, yung ibang headquarters nga, nasa mga 60%, nariritin sa headquarters, only 40%, yun yung bumababa. Mm -hmm. So sabi ko, cannot uh, be this way because how can, how can the uh, station commanders, for example, how can they perform their duties, their functions, kung wala silang pambili ng band paper. Wala silang, uh, at the time, carbon paper eh. So, <laughs> wala pa So, naman. ngayon, sir, kung walang pambili ng computer? Well, hihingi sila sa complainant. Mm -hmm. Eh, hindi magko-complain yung complainant kasi nga, hi alam nilang hihingan sila. And that's actually happening, you know, mm -hmm. na uh, kaya hindi nare-report lahat yung crimes, uh, kaya hindi accurate yung mga crime statistics because people shy away from reporting yeah. to the police because they, they're apprehensive na hihingan ako ng panggastos, yeah, okay. panggasolina. Oh. So it, it, you, can, you cannot accomplish your mission uh, that way. Sir, I'm sorry, I forgot something a little bit earlier. I want to go back to it. You said uh, if the morale of the PNP is, is um, low. Is, yeah. low no? is the morale of the PNP low right now? I've talked to some of them because uh, some of them remain close to me, you know, mm -hmm. and they told me, na with what's happening, no, yung issues na tumatama sa CPNP, uh, low moral talaga yung, mababa yung moral ng, ng personnel. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would you describe what is happening right now to Vice President Binay? The Senate calls it an investigation. Uh, the Vice President and his allies point mm -hmm. an accusing finger at DILG Secretary Mar Rojas. Well, politics or no politics, the Vice President you know, should explain. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I believe that he should uh, appear before the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee or the subcommittee. Mm -hmm. Because that's the proper forum for him to defend himself and answer all the accusations being heard against him. Really? Uh, it's not going to be a lopsided, as he says, uh, forum? But if he can explain uh, satisfactorily all the allegations mm -hmm. uh, thrown at him, then that will be his... Uh, to his advantage. Uh -huh, okay. Well, is it going to help? But if he or cannot explain, it if he won't cannot help him. Okay. If, if he Mababaon cannot... Mababaon siya dun. Uh -huh, okay. Yeah. But if he can explain all the accusations or allegations, it can do him, you know, uh, it could really propel him back to where he was uh, one or two months ago. Mm -hmm. What would be a plausible <clears throat> explanation, you think? The truth. From him. The truth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no other <laughs> yeah. better explanation than telling the truth. You know. uh -huh. I you... experienced the same thing. Mm -hmm. you know, but, uh, you know, uh, I've proven that, you know, all the allegations of Adorma Wanai, all the, all the accusations thrown against me, mm -hmm. uh, lahat naman talaga palpak din eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, what do you think of Senator Trillanes? Well, he's gang-ho, he's, he, he's fearless, you know, uh -huh. to say the least. And... Uh, you know, I admire him as a, as a person, as a senator, uh, but, you know, parang walang limit minsan eh. Mm -hmm. Parang dire-direcho, parang, uh, pardon the word, uh, more often than not, shooting from the hip. Mm -hmm. Senator Cayetano, Alan. 
he's more on the, you know, he, he's researching and mm -hmm. then he's studying before he asks uh, questions. Mm -hmm. And Senator Pimentel is the, the most sober of them all. You, know? <laughs> you knew I was going to Senator Pimentel. <laughs> Senator Gingona? Well, I, you know, I was surprised that he refused to handle the investigation mm -hmm. because that's Blue Ribbon Committee mandate. Eh. Mm -hmm. Pagka issues of corruption, dapat yung dapat siya, blue, chairman yeah, dapat siya. ng full committee. Kaya, uh, okay. Don't worry, I won't ask about Senator Miriam Santiago. <laughs> Sir, are you through with electoral <laughs> politics? When people talk well, to you, like you know, to do they tell you they want you to run? And for yeah, marami course? pa rin nagsasabi na why don't you give it a try, ano? Uh, without, ano, hindi pagbuta sa lima ko. Sabi nila, mm. you're the antidote do sa mga issues ngayon because mm. peace and order, corruption, PDAF, DAP. But of course, pasok dito, process, labas din sa kabila. But at the end of the day, uh, we talk of, you know, uh, is it still worth it? Mm -hmm. Tapos, uh, it's not really easy to win an election, lalo na kung one-on-one, -on -one, no? Kung mm -hmm. senatorial, it, it, kaya, I, I kaya. can, yeah, oh. but uh, again, hindi pa rin ako decided if I would like to go back to the Senate. Mm -hmm. So, I'm more inclined, right now, I'm more inclined uh, in retiring, no? in retirement. After, parang I've had enough of government, I've had enough of politics, I've had enough of uh, this, this kind of work. Mm -hmm. So, ang inclination ko right now, Yun ang sentiment ko, if you ask me, and I'll answer you very candidly, kung ngayon tayo nag-uusap talagang parang tama na, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. I think I've done enough for, you know, more really? than 40 years. Mm -hmm. Parang sa akin, tama na yun. Mm -hmm. That's my mentality. That, that's my mindset, yeah. man, but, mindset right now. Mindset, but it doesn't look like you're, you're about to You know, Pia, I'll, I'll confess to you, huh? uh, in all my past job assignments, from a military officer, Philippine Constabulary, naging PNP, Chief PNP, Senator. Yung, yung assignment ko, I had always aspired to do better than the previous one. Mm -hmm. uh, yun talaga yung, yung goal ko, yung objective ko. Malakas yung passion ko doon. But when Yolanda came, this is the only job assignment I've ever had that I'm always thinking of resigning every single day of my life. No? Really? Yung frustration keeps on building up. No? Keeps mm -hmm. building up. Tapos uh, every single day that I wake up in the morning to report for work, para bang it's too stressful and frustrating. Mm -hmm. Frustrating in the sense that uh, no matter what we do, no, parang damay-damay. Damay and yeah. I, ako yung nakaka-feel ng brand ng no, mga criticisms, mm -hmm. may basis man o no, wala. But, you know, it's kind of frustrating that I wanted to do more. I wanted to accomplish more, do better. And I could have done better. I could have accomplished more had I been given all the powers and the authority that I, you know, Can you still ask for it now so that things no. will matter? Mahiyaan ako, Pia, pagdating sa paghingi ng budget. Kaya nga, when, you know, when, the, when E.S. Ochoa visited us here, Mm -hmm. Because dito ginawa yung before, uh, before the pre presentation that uh, should have happened today, you know. Darito because he wanted to synchronize all, all uh, consolidate all the, all the numbers para isa lang yung boses pagdating doon kasi nga nagkakaiba-iba. So, and he noticed na malit na tinapa yung budget. So I told him, pasensya ka na kasi wala, hindi kami, kami binibigyan ng budget. Eh, but hindi ka humingi? Eh, mahihain kami. Mm -hmm. So, yun. But, you know, these are things that need not be asked. Eh. Yes. They should know that uh, I have a, a big staff here. Right. Tapos, kailangan mo ng MOE. Hindi naman kailangan itanong na yun eh. How do they expect you to work if you don't? Yeah, but mabuti na nga lang, may mga tumutulong. Like, mm -hmm. I have a personal, personal friend who's the owner of the building. Mm -hmm. who offered because uh, wala akong office, saan kami magmi-meeting sa coffee shop. Lalo mag gasos yun. Tapos, uh, pati nga gasoline dito, hindi reimbursable. Uh -huh. So, yung sweldo kong 80,000 pesos as a cabinet secretary, abonado, abonado pa doon sa mga expenses na office-related, ah, hindi mm -hmm. yung personal expenses. Mm -hmm. And okay. by other staff, pareho rin na experience. So, sabi ko sa nila, Tsaga-tsaga tayo. Anyway, ad hoc lang naman ito. Mm -hmm. Eh, ano naman itong mission natin? Yes. Parang may, may nobility naman sa mission. So, tsaga-tsaga right. tayo. But, mm -hmm. you know, they could see in me the frustration. And uh, parang pag nagpaparanigo sa kanila na 
siguro pagka-approve ng CRRP, pwede na tayo mag -iwahiwalay. Then, parang they, eh, they can easily understand. Paano Hindi, kung i-approve itong... Mga, ano, itong mga discussions namin <laughs> ah, na oo, out oo. of, you know, yeah. so many frustrations. Uh, not to mention yung, yung mga criticisms na... Mm -hmm. But, uh, which yeah. I don't deserve because wala naman ako implementation. Eh. Uh -oh. diba? But secondary, so what is it that keeps you going? Well, I think uh, it's not in my character, not in my nature to, to give up. Yeah, to give up. Mm. No, hanggang okay. hindi tapos yung trabaho. Okay. So we'll when I see my people, you know, na, nagtatrabaho, parang mm -hmm. nandito sa loob ng office, iniisip ko, bukas siguro mag-resign ako. Paglabas mo doon, nakita mo na... Paano ka naman sub -sub Kaya nga, subsublatan trabaho, sa, ang ulos trabaho. So oh. paano mag-resign? Mm -hmm. Secretary, we'll have to take another commercial break. Please, Dr. Page, we'll be right back. Welcome back. This is News.ph. I'm Pion Tiveros. Uh, Ping Lakson, Secretary Ping Lakson, Presidential Assistant on Rehabilitation and Recovery, former Chief PNP, Chief of the Philippine National Police, former Center. And now, like we said, we have Sar is our guest. Secretary Lakson, what do you think of the Pemberton Laude case? Should the focus be uh, not on fo uh, jurisdiction, custody, and the VFA, but on gathering evidence for the case? Well, gathering uh, of evidence is uh, very important because that will determine, you know, the conviction or the acquittal of the accused. Mm -hmm. But it's a good thing that he's now under the custody of the, at least the armed forces of the Philippines. He's in mm -hmm. Camp Aguinaldo. He's uh, detained there. And I just hope that uh, when the case reaches its final conclusion, logical conclusion, he would stay under the custody of the Republic of the Philippines. No? Mm -hmm. he even, if he, yeah, even if he is in the juice mag installation? Well, he's still, uh, still within inside Aguinaldo. Camp Aguinaldo, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're just hoping, we want to see the day when a, com a conviction is rendered and then he'll go straight to Mutinlupa mm -hmm. and not, you know, uh, not the U.S. Embassy. Not remanded to the custody of uh, the United States through the U.S. Embassy and then all the way to mm -hmm. the United States. Is the VFA unfair to our country? Should we amend it or repeal it or what? I am not so familiar with the provisions of the VFA. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are provisions there that uh, clearly states uh, or uh, deals with the custody of uh, American soldiers you know, when they mm -hmm. commit crimes in the Philippines. And that's being uh, followed right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. How important is leaving behind an efficient mass transit system to the Aquino legacy? Well, that's what we need and that's what we lack. Ano? Mm -hmm. na, uh, we're left behind by other countries. Ano? Pag that is a mass transport, you look around us. Ano? Lahat nando na, nasa mass transport na. Tayo, kanya-kanya pa rin kotse, kanya-kanya bus, kanya-kanya jeepney. Mm -hmm. <coughs> walang, uh, mm -hmm. walang effort man lang to really institutionalize your mass transport system. Mm -hmm. And we need it very badly because, you know, our population is uh, growing leaps and bounds, you know. 100 million people, tapos uh, most of them or a big number of them nakakoncentrate sa mga urban areas. Mm -hmm. I'd say that your mass transport system, uh, ito yung mag uh, de ng even ng population. Because if there's, like Tokyo, for example, most of the uh, yung daytime population in Tokyo malaki pero naguwian sila because of an efficient uh, mass transport system mm -hmm. in, in Japan. Dito sa atin ang focus Metro Manila dito na, nakatira because of poor uh, mm -hmm. transport system. Mm -hmm. Okay. What were the tumultuous years of your life, sir? Was it uh, uh, those years uh, in the Philippine National Police or the years in politics? The years in politics. Who made it tumultuous for yung, you? Yung, yung years ko, or yung days ko sa Philippine National Police, very rewarding. Yun ang mm -hmm. defining moment ko eh. Mm -hmm. in, in fact, uh, ito dapat sigreto kasi passport yung ginagamit 1999 eh. Mm -hmm. uh, ang clue ang, 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 ang ko is best year. Mm -hmm. Kasi yun ang best year of my career. No? Password nyo? <laughs> so, palitan nyo na yung password nyo. <laughs> hindi, hindi mo naman naman kung paano i-configure yun eh. Uh, so, okay. Well, who made uh, politics tumultuous for you? Well, many things, ano. Uh, Sir, who? Gloria Arroyo. <laughs> uh, she really made my life miserable. Ano? Uh -huh. I'll tell you what, ano. December 2000, when I was Chief PNP, mm -hmm. my trust and approval rating 
Mas mataas pa ako sa ibang cabinet or most mm -hmm. of the cabinet members of former President Estrada. I was hitting 73% trust ano, mm -hmm. rating and approval rating. Uh, January, when I, when I uh, filed my certificate of candidacy, January 2001, and then all the way to becoming a senator, uh, when they started hitting me, when they took over, no? mm -hmm. January 21, <clears throat> non-stop, talagang sustained. By August of 2001, from December 2073 plus 73, I dropped to negative 13. Mm -hmm. okay. Naubos yung trust, may utang pa. Oh. And the only consolation I had, if I may call it that, si Mike Arroyo was hitting negative 35. <laughs> so, yun, that's how efficient, yeah. that's, that's how effective yung black propaganda na tumama mm -hmm. sa akin. Mm -hmm. because, ano, bang, ano bang galit nila sa inyo? Well, Anong I can only speculate. I can only speculate because we were in good terms. You know, I was Chief PNT and, yes. and she was Vice President. Mm -hmm. Maganda yung ano namin. Every time na mayroon kami, kasama kami sa mga speaking engagements, occasions, I would always introduce her as the next president of the Philippines because she was very popular as vice president. I can only speculate, ano? and mm -hmm. may basis naman siguro ako sa pag-speculate. <clears throat> when they took over in January 2001, maybe they were looking at the horizon, yung political horizon. Sino ba pwede natin makalaban ng 2004? Mm -hmm. Wala naman silang makikita iba nun because I was so popular uh, when I was chief PNP. So sino mm -hmm. yung malapit sa 2004? So probably they saw me, eh kailangan sirain natin to. And that's all. Mm. There's to it. Kasi okay. wala akong makita ibang reason eh. Why would they unleash characters like uh, Ador Mawanay? Eh? Na in mm. the first place, hindi ko naman kilala. I never Oo. knew him from Adam. Asa na ba siya ngayon? Si hindi ko rin alam. <laughs> but uh, okay. before, before nawala yung contact, I, uh, he, he retracted. Ano? And mm. I have a copy yeah. of his retraction. Yeah. At sinabi okay. niya parang kung sino yung handlers niya. Mm -hmm. Lahat. Mm -hmm. And I've spoken to people close to the, the uh, first couple at the time, ano? after they, they stepped down. <clears throat> ano? And they were admitting to me na talagang they were even part of the conspiracy of mm -hmm. the, you know, yung malevolence uh, against... Sino or, yan? Sino umamin? Well, some very close uh, people na mm -hmm. nagkaroon din ng falling out mm -hmm. with them. Okay. All these people, no? I mean, uh, Adorma... Arroyes, etc. Mm. There, there's a whole long list. You, yeah. you, had, you had such a long list of enemies. Yeah. It, it's 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 amazing. Uh, not not really, enemies. The tractors. Uh, the tractors. Yeah. Okay, they really hated your guts. No, they're being used and they're allowing themselves to be used. Mm -hmm. Some of them are being paid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you feel at any point that your life was in danger? Ah, yeah. Yes. Many times, okay. especially during my law enforcement days. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why. Ah, but in politics. Oh yeah. But, I, could, okay. I could feel it, yeah. Okay. Uh, there's this line I will never forget. Alamba ni Mrs. To. Yeah. Did you Jose think that up, you, did you think up, up <clears throat> that line yourself? Uh, or discussion was, yan. Uh, sino? Who, and who product, came up with it? Well, yung, ayoko na mag-mention, baka malasin pa yung mama. <laughs> pero discussion ito eh. Ano yung magandang mga, mga lines? Catchy kasi, phrase, yeah, no? catchy phrases. Uh -huh, okay. At the uh, time, famous yung yung isang burger chain, di ba? Mm -hmm. Na yun, may, mayroong to. So, swak na swak. Mm -hmm. okay. Did you have to rehearse it? A few times, okay. yes. A few times, yeah. so that you could deliver, deliver it well. Deliver properly. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever came of that investigation? Wala rin, ano? Well, meron din. But mm -hmm. during, it was during their time. Mm -hmm. They had all the, the power over, you know, uh, the bureau bureaucracy. So, wala mm -hmm. talaga siguro. Yeah. But at least, I've taken my case before to the people. No? Yeah. Oh. So and to me, that's good enough. Oh, you were you were very brave to do that. Eh, hindi ba PMA lingko yung ano very brave? <laughs> yeah. Ang lakas ng loob nyo. Yeah, ano to? Always, you had nothing else to lose. Alam nyo. No, it's not that. But uh, I had to. You know, that's that's my way of defending myself. Eh. Mm -hmm. Remember uh, when they started hitting me? It was Nene Pimentel. No? Mm -hmm. We were walking in the corridor sa Senate. Sabi sa akin, ping, but hindi mo sinasagot. Because I thought at that time, it was so incredible that I need not answer. Mm -hmm. Hindi ko lang sagutin yan, sir. Sabi ko dahil, sino man iniwala dyan? 700 million dollars mm -hmm. na stash in, in several banks. Tapos, I wrote the regional officer of Citibank mm -hmm. based in Hong Kong. Dahil may mga nakalagay doon, Citibank Hong Kong. Tinanong ko, itong mga account numbers na ito, I want to find out sinong, kung ito ba sa akin o ano. Ang sagot, fictitious eh. Mm -hmm. no non uh, non existing yung ano mm -hmm. yung mga account number so 
And then I was the first and probably the only public official who signed a waiver uh, right. sa bank secrecy law. No? Mm -hmm. And I sent it to Victor Corpus. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko sa kanya, ito yung lahat ng account numbers na inilabas ninyo. Uh, ito yung waiver ko. Whatever you get, sa inyo na. Either you donate it uh, to the government or you, uh, you own it. Mm -hmm. And then he didn't sign it. Mm -hmm. Ang ang reason masyadong tenuous no. Ang sabi niya, ang spelling ng ng last name ko S hindi Z. And dali mo namang ano tas initialan mo, di ba? So uh -huh. alam ko talaga lahat gawa-gawaan. So hindi ako nagnagrat until uh -huh. noong na-realize ko na oh nga no, hindi ko sinasagot talo sa mata. There it came to a point that I was already ashamed to, you know, to go to restaurants, public places, because I could feel that people were looking at me uh, with, you know, distrust and, uh, you know, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. malungkot, talaga malungkot. And I felt I was so alone. Even my, my closest friends, when I was GPNP, yung mga, sabihin natin, mga sumisip sa akin, tapos tatawagan mo, they wouldn't uh, want take to talk call. to me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, they would take my call. And then, pag nabosesan ako, ang daming reason para mag, uh, may mm -hmm. I go out. Uh -huh. Para mag... Uh, At, oh, pero ngayon, kaibigan niyo ulit? Uh, I remember their names. <laughs> <laughs> you, you always remember. You will never forget. Yeah. Si Vic Corpus, nakakausap niyo ba? No, I haven't seen him. Hindi na. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll take a short break first. But when, when we come back, sir, I wanted to ask about uh, uh, the year that you went living dangerously <laughs> in some other country. Uh, we'll be right back. Please out, should be right back. Why Stay did you us. conclude that it's another... This is the last stretch of News RPH. Secretary Ping Lakson is with us. Secretary Ping, where in Europe did you go into hiding? Uh, Amsterdam. Amsterdam? Yeah, and Germany. Mm -hmm. Why those two places? Uh, don't know make a vegan. Uh -huh. One is a former soldier na, who worked under me, who became, who worked there since... Mm -hmm. uh, uh, mid 70s yes. former soldier so, um, meaning PC mga sundalo nyo yeah. mga yeah. sarhento ganon mm. mm. and the other the other one is my wedding godson who's Sino? a foreigner ah. married to a Filipina aha uh -huh. mm. okay okay so they well, took care of me mm -hmm. don lang and then maybe other, other areas mm -hmm. what prepared you for life on the run nothing uh, everything prepared yeah. what I mean what prepared you for life on the run because you know, some, sometimes you think you're not prepared for it, and then when you're there, you cope. Well, I was just, you know, I, I just felt that I would not allow myself to be behind bars uh, even for a minute mm -hmm. for something that I did not did do, not no? do. I did not commit. So, ayoko yung pagtatawanan ako ni Gloria, nakita mo, andiyan ka. Kasi pababa na lang sila eh. Mm -hmm. Paalis na sila sa pwesto, but they really made sure. Yung, yung evidence presented against me, hindi naman evidence at all eh. And then mm -hmm. the judge, you know, mm -hmm. the judge handling the case, you know, we tried our best to inhibit her mm -hmm. or to make her inhibit from the, or recuse herself from the case because she was a candidate for promotion. Mm -hmm. And Gloria Macapagalaroyo was the appointing authority at mm -hmm. the time. Okay. The warrant of arrest was issued February 5. Um, she breezed through the JBC uh, uh, vetting, uh, February 8th. And February 5th was a Friday. Mm -hmm. you know, over the weekend, ano, pasado ka sa JBC, and a week later, she was appointed. Mm -hmm. So, yun lang ang nag-confirm uh, nag ng lahat ng suspicion ko na talagang yung gusto ko, talagang cook na. Mm -hmm. Had she inhibited, I might have considered, you know, uh, facing trial. Mm -hmm. Pero kitang-kita ko, a warrant of arrest would be forthcoming. Uh, mm -hmm. Meron okay. ko ba bang ibang choice? Uh -huh. E tapos you'll, you'll, you'll suffer probably five years, ten years, yeah. while the trial is... Uh, so how did you get out of the country? Uh, siyempre, the regular... Uh, yeah, regular. Kasi wala that, naman that, akong that warrant... That CCTV that showed you going yeah. through the uh, immigration... Wala naman akong wala warrant of arrest na eh. Wala naman akong hold departure order. How wala did you come back? Ah, uh, yun regular. No, medyo hindi regular kasi Where did you pass the back door? Yeah. 
Yeah, because I, you used I was, your own passport or what? No, it was a travel document. Eh, mm. Issued one day, one way yun eh, travel document. Because the mm -hmm. passport ko nag-expire. Eh. Mm -hmm. Hindi na pwedeng gamitin. Sa kakancel de. Eh. Mm -hmm. So okay. uh, I I had some contacts, ano? Na hindi mo kailangan kasi entitled naman ako to to apply for a travel document. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I did something naughty just to, you know, because I was imagining people like Jok Jok Bolante and the others would be coming home. Uh -huh. Tapos pag ng media, uh -huh. and ayoko nang ganun eh. Na, uh -huh. Although naman, I was already uh -huh. a free man, ano? Uh -huh. na at, 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 namang, at hindi naman siguro kayo the type na magpapa-stretcher, magpapa-abulansh, magpapa-wheelchair. Hindi, pero I was, I was a free man, eh, di ba? <laughs> Tapos yeah. na yung case eh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ayoko lang nung masyadong fanfare, kaya ginawa ko nga, I diverted my, my flight. Mm -hmm. uh, dapat sa Naiya, di ba? So, mm -hmm. okay. nag-ano ko ng Cebu. And then, kinat ko pa nga yung mga ano ko para walang trace eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why didn't you get caught? Because probably of my own experience, because I, I was used to, or I'm used to catching criminals, so mm -hmm. I would know how to evade. Escape and evasion tactics. Yes. Okay. But those were the loneliest uh, days of my life, you know, because mm -hmm. you were alone, away from your friends. You wouldn't know if you would ever come back, mm -hmm. if you'd ever see your, your family, your mm -hmm. friends. Were you able you know, to keep in touch with them in any way whatsoever? Uh, through fictitious email addresses. Uh -huh. Email only? Yeah, email and Skype. Well, Skype, no? <laughs> <laughs> then, you, then, using uh, using yeah, your yeah, friends. Yeah, fictitious, uh, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero email lang, so walang video uh, calls. Ah, uh, wala, wala. Wala, okay. Um, can you tell us, sir, which Philippine president do you believe did the most for the country? Well, I continue to believe in the honesty and integrity of the present uh, president, ano? President mm -hmm. uh, Noy Noy. Kasi sa akin, ang tingin ko, an honest president who has integrity parang more than 50% of yung yung ano niya uh, parang panalo na ba mm -hmm. yung parang lamang na half, half the battle is yeah won. half of the battle okay. is won okay uh, kung honest saka may integrity yung mm -hmm. presidente so Unlike, he's the he's the one who did the most for the country as far as you're concerned not did the most but uh, the, the most honest mm -hmm. that was my integrity i believe it is uh, president Aquino mm -hmm. yeah. can you describe him to us in your own words. Well, uh, I mean, apart from honest, okay, we, we know that already. Yeah, masyadong detalyado eh. Mm -hmm. no, yung bang, I've attended uh, a few cabinet meetings, you know, even yung small clusters, cabinet clusters. Ano siya, sobrang detalyado and... Uh, walang uh, makakalusot sa kanya. Walang makakalusot. Yun, that's, that's the proper mm -hmm. word. Yeah. Kaya, Kaya hindi pa niya pinipirmahan yung 8,000 page. <laughs> Gusto I, niyang basahin I, isa't isa. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> he has his own reasons for not uh, signing it uh -huh. yet. Ano? Okay. What kind of a president do we need in 2016? Well, I'm looking at a Lee Kuan Yew type of, uh, of a president. Ano? Benevolent, mm -hmm. but you know, uh, yung, yung talagang hindi lang hindi magnanakaw, kundi hindi ya allow na may magnanakaw. Mm -hmm. Kasi that's, that's one issue that's killing us eh, as a country. Mm -hmm. Remove corruption in this country and we'll go places. Mm -hmm. Okay, so is there someone who fits the bill right now? Uh, well, yeah, meron. Who? I cannot name names, but I'm sure. Why not? Because that's my next, next question. Have you decided who you're going to support? Who you will vote? Well, I'll, I'll just uh, choose my candidate when, you know, when uh, the certificates are, are filed, you know. Mm -hmm. Kasi hindi okay. pa naman alam kung sino talaga maging president, kung sino talaga mag magiging magpapayal. Magiging kandidato. Na. Pero, yeah. well, right now, what we have is um, uh, uh, George Abinay, Mar well, Rojas. Let's put it this way. Rojas, if I, it appears to be the, the if favorite If I mention a name, no? kaaway mm -hmm. ko na lahat yung mga nag aspire eh. Do you agree that no president should stay long in power? Well, six years is just enough no, mm -hmm. for a president to, to serve. You know? uh, but it's, again, it's relative. You know? For a bad president, napakahaba nung six years. Mm -hmm. Nine years, even. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Your favorite to, bad yeah, president. My, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, pero sa good president, kulang din yun kasi three years, magpaplano ka pa lang dyan. Eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is this your last position in government? Earlier in the show, you were saying that uh, after this, I'm, I'm going to retire. Uh, every day, I, I, I want to resign. But 
Can you categorically say this is going to be your last position in If government? you ask me now, as, as I told earlier, told you earlier, you know mindset go right now. Probably, mm -hmm. you know, uh, because of, uh, of the frustrations, you know. Not, not only dito sa present uh, job assignment ko, but with government. Mm -hmm. Kasi parang, parang baba na ng perception ng tao mm -hmm. sa government. Mm -hmm. uh, with all the controversies, yung issues ng corruption. Mm -hmm. Parang nakakawalang gana. Mm -hmm. parang ganun. Kaya siguro yun ang nakakadala ng mindset. But again, sabi ko nga, uh, you ask me now, I'll answer you. Na, you know, mindset ko ngayon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Earlier you were saying that you're looking at a Lee Kuan Yew, no? benevolent, mm -hmm. yung uh, hindi magnanakaw, yeah. etc. Are you thinking a bit of yourself? No, I'm just, I'm just thinking of Lee Kuan Yew. Mm -hmm. Ever since I've been thinking of him, because I've been reading his, uh, yung, yung, yung life story niya, mm -hmm. and how he ruled Singapore from a fifth, sixth class uh, nation. Mm -hmm. he, he throws to a first class uh, state, di ba? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, wala namang issue ng corruption. And there are uh, several anecdotes uh, exemplifying or highlighting his honesty and integrity. Mm -hmm. Secretary Luxon, what else do you want to do for your country? Well, as a private citizen, we can still, <laughs> you know, uh, help uh, probably not, not uh, the government, but uh, in our own capacity you know, as, mm -hmm. a, as a private individual. Maramit pa rin pwedeng gawin eh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Final words, sir? Well, uh, gusto ko lang ipokus sa Yolanda. No? Mm -hmm. Ang message ko lang, especially sa mga survivors, we know that uh, people are getting impatient and rightly so, understandably so, because when you are a victim, uh, one year is too long, even six months is too long, even one month is too long. But I'd like them to understand that you know, rehabilitating uh, an area hit by the strongest typhoon uh, that, that made landfall. Eh, talaga hindi ganun kadali, no? Mm -hmm. uh, yung pag-prepare nga lang ng plano, napakahirap, lalo pa yung implementation. We'd like to assure them that uh, no matter what limitations I have in, in, the, in my mandate, I will uh, exercise it uh, to the hill to really protect uh, the, the use of funds. Ano? Yung talaga, we we'll, we'll really oversee. Mm -hmm. yung implementation uh, given the limitation of my office. Mm -hmm. So when is the president going to sign the... I hope he signs it today or, or tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Kasi uh, I'd like to think, uh, I'd like to be optimistic. You know? The reason why he canceled today's presentation is maybe he, uh, he didn't see any more a need to, to present it because mm -hmm. anyway, in, in the memo that we submitted or the executive secretary submitted to him, ang hinihingi na lang talagang funding nasa mga 9.9 .9 billion mm -hmm. na lang eh. in niya na yung, yung bulk na release na yung iba. So, what's 10 billion compared to 170 or 167 billion? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much, Secretary yeah. Ping Lakson, thank you. for joining thank you us. And thank you for watching. Join us again next Wednesday. I'm Dion Tiberius. Good night.